Hi, my name is Kristen Hankins. I'm a team leader with Usborne Books and More. The star of our show today is Miss Caitlin. She's about to turn one in just a few days as of the making of this video, but she's been raised as a UBAM kid, so she has been surrounded by books her entire life. You can see how interested she is. This is her happy face, I promise. Our books are so attractive because Peter Usborne, founder of Usborne Books and More, sets a very high standard for them. He says every book must be friendly, accessible, colorful, edible, understandable, pick upable, and charming. They must be immensely attractive, so attractive that they look good enough to eat. And they must be as friendly and smiling as his own mother. Babies need books. Reading to babies and children significantly inf influences their capacity to learn for the rest of their lives. Being read to and having books in the home are the biggest factors for future academic success. Let's play hide and seek. Mine, where are you? Here I am. My turn now. Crocodile, where are you? I can see you. Oh, I thought I was hidden. You can let her pop. Next page. Now, where might Hippo be? Catch me if you can. Now, there are tons of studies that I could quote to tell you exactly how important it is to read aloud to your children, especially from a young age. But you can do a Google search and pull up all of those and more. I do want to share a couple of quotes that I think are very important. Dr. Robert Needleman says, the single best predictor of how kids do in school is what kids know before they get to school. Michelle Landsberg in her book, Reading for the Love of It says, the goal is to make reading a lifelong source of delight, the will to read, the most important thing a child can bring to school on the first day is nurtured like the will, of, will to live and the child's early emotional experiences. We don't want kids to think they have to read, that that's just part of going to school. We want it to be a source of joy, a source of delight, something they look back on when they're older and think about all those times in your lap or cuddled up beside you, maybe in a tent with a flashlight, sharing books with you. These memories are like no other. They will last forever and they will become experiences that your kids want to share with their kids. So it's meaningful now. It'll be meaningful later. It'll have a lasting impact and it will help their future to be brighter.